Hello, and welcome to the Connect Insights Academy. Through this course, we will be diving deep into understanding all about having a unified approach to customer experience management. At the end of this course, you will know what customer experience is and why managing it effectively is important and how to go about it. Understand the importance of omni-channel customer experience management in its true sense. Know about the four pillars of customer experience management. See the importance of social listening, social CRM, community management, ORM, in terms of customer experience management. Get to know how to use data analytics and business intelligence tools to enhance customer experience. Look at various metrics related to competitor analysis, social media analysis, social listening analysis, and customer experience management. Navigate and effectively use all the features of Connect Insights Omnichannel Customer Experience Management software. So let's get into learning about customer experience management. Taking a step back, we will first learn about customer experience, or CX. This refers to the overall perception and feeling a customer has of their interactions with a company or brand throughout the entire customer journey. This includes all the touch points that a customer may have with the company, such as website browsing, product service selection, purchasing, customer support, and post-purchase follow-ups. It is the sum total of every single interaction between the company and the customer that directly impacts their relationship. Broadly speaking, there are two types of customer experiences. A positive customer experience is one where the customer feels satisfied and valued, and where their expectations are met or exceeded. This can lead to increased customer loyalty and positive word of mouth marketing. On the other hand, a negative customer experience can lead to dissatisfied customers, negative reviews, and decreased customer loyalty. Let's take a look at some examples of customer experiences, both positive and negative, in real life. A couple of positive examples first. A customer orders a product from Amazon and receives it within two days, even though they had selected standard shipping. The package arrives in perfect condition and the product exceeds their expectations in terms of quality. The customer is also impressed by Amazon's hassle-free return policy, which makes them more likely to shop from Amazon in the future. A customer visits a Nike store to purchase running shoes. The sales associate takes the time to understand the customer's needs and recommends the perfect pair of shoes based on their preferences. The customer is also offered a free trial run on a treadmill to test the shoes before making the purchase. The checkout process is quick and easy and the customer receives a personalized email thanking them for their purchase and inviting them to join Nike's loyalty program. Now, some negative examples. A customer has an issue with their credit card and contacts their bank's customer support. They are put on hold for over 30 minutes and are then transferred to multiple representatives, each of whom asks them to repeat their issue. After several attempts to resolve the issue, the customer is told that they will need to visit a bank branch in person. The customer feels frustrated and inconvenienced by the experience and decides to switch to a different bank. A customer checks into a hotel and finds their room needs to be cleaned. When they call the front desk to request a different room, they are told that the hotel is fully booked and no other rooms are available. The customer feels disappointed and uncomfortable staying in a dirty room and decides not to stay at that hotel chain again. None of us likes a negative experience, do we? By providing positive experiences, brands are more likely to create satisfied and loyal customers who will continue to do business with them and recommend them to others. Companies can improve the customer experience by focusing on factors such as customers' details, convenience, personalization, responsiveness, and empathy. Which means managing the customer experience effectively is necessary, and there are multiple things that need to be done to achieve that. 
We'll be looking at this in more detail through the course and also learning about the four pillars of omni-channel customer experience management as conceptualized by Connect Insights and how they can be leveraged. Let's learn about customer experience management in our next video. Happy connecting!